Hi there, welcome back in the studio. This video is brought to you by Gospel Beats at gospelbeats.com. This is episode 3 of the Compression Made Easy series. We're back again into the live session we used last time in video number 2, and we're having the same problem we had on the kick drum on the snare drum. We have two microphones here, typical setup. You can use that in the studio, you can use that live as well. So we have a snare up and a snare down to SM57, uh, so pretty um, straightforward uh, mic placement here and mic choice. As you can see, the performance is quite uneven. So we have a very soft hit, like this one for instance, and you have a very loud hit like this one, okay? This is the snare down, so with the snare at the bottom, uh, you have the same issue uh, up above, okay, you have a loud, hit like this one, you have a much softer hit like this one. So, okay, so generally speaking, uh, we wanna even out this performance. Okay, and you gotta be a bit careful with the snare. So, our setup is pretty simple. We wanna catch a lot of the, of the audio here. So we're gonna go very far towards the left part of the threshold knob. We want to tame a little bit of the attack because we have the snare down. We're operating on the two tracks grouped, okay, so this is picking up the snare up and the snare down as well. This is a technique I often use to have more glue with the snare. So I very rarely uh, do a different compression setup uh, for each track. So it's better for me uh, on average to have just a group with the snare on, okay. They can have, of course, uh, different uh, EQ settings, but most of the time you want to have just uh, a single compression to apply some glue, as I mentioned before. Okay, so getting back to the settings, um, I went pretty, you know, hard with the attack, okay. going all the way down. It's dangerous because we're killing too much of the attack, too much of the character of the sound, especially uh, on the strings here. So on the snare down, okay, where you want to hear, hear a little bit of the sparkle, a little bit of uh, rattle, so to speak. Um, so you want to preserve that attack, and I needed to do a little bit of a uh, hard compression here. I went all the way up to uh, to ten. I rarely do that, um, but this time it sounded good to me. Okay, so we're going from here. Okay, so it's very, very uh, interesting what we're done here. So you see that we have a pretty average hit here, but we have a huge hit uh, down here, and they sounded pretty much the same. Let's just solo it uh, to make it even more evident. Okay, of course they have a slightly different tone because the the drummer hit a different part of the snare, so it's very, very hard to find someone um, who is able to hit the snare exactly at the same point. So the tone changes a little. You don't have the same problem on the kick drum. The kick drum um, usually is a bit more even as far as tone is as concerned, but you're going to find out that the snare is changing a lot. But we're addressing a loudness issue here. So we want to have a very even performance. They are all similar. We don't have too much loudness difference. Okay, and we're kind of evening out the tone uh, as well. We're keeping a lot of the attack. I don't want to go all the way down and kill all the attack. Okay, if you. I don't know, I don't like it. I feel like it's over compressed. I want it to leave um, it a little bit of space to. To breathe. Of course, quick release on top of that because we don't want to have too much tail. We have a very harsh resonance coming from it. So we want to tame that. Of 
course, we're not using uh, any, you know, bleeding reduction techniques or no gate, no editing, no automation uh, whatsoever. So we need to um, understand that we're bringing up front uh, a lot of the noise coming from the background. This is kind of a, a downside uh, of using the compression. Uh, but as always in audio, there's always a trade-off. A trade off. Okay, so you are enhancing the sound, you're evening out the performance, but you're also bringing in front of the listener something that shouldn't really uh, be there. Okay, so um, you may want to apply other techniques uh, on top of compression as well, but this is not the purpose of the lesson. Okay, what I wanted to show you guys here that you can um, really enhance the song and enhance the groove just by adding some compression. Let's just play the song again to demonstrate what I'm saying. I'll engage it as I'm going. Much better to me. It's not a dramatic change but it's a noticeable change. So proper mixing is about addressing these small problems. It's about noticeable subtleties, I would say. You can notice that it's not straight in your face, but it's enhancing the song. It's enhancing the quality of the performance. Okay, so we're helping the whole session. It's like helping the, the guys who play to better deliver their message, so to speak. I don't want to get too uh, philosophical, okay, but we're doing a lot just by applying uh, a little change. So as far as settings are concerned, just a simple um, compression here with very fast attack and release. Not, not super fast attack, 10, it's, uh, 10 milliseconds, it reasonably fast attack, and a very fast release at 0 0.3 seconds. We're also compressing a lot because we had a lot of consistency issues, okay? We go from very, very thin sounding hits like this one on the snare down to huge hits like this. So we wanna make sure we're evening out completely uh, the track. So we went for a kind of uh, an unusual setup here. I rarely use the, the 10 <laughs> ratio knob here. I'm usually more conservative between two and four, but here it works. So find your own setup, find the, the setup that suits your, your own situation and keep on experimenting with that. So that was a pretty subtle change, but you'll see that can make really a big difference if you look at the big picture of your mix. So experiment with that and let us know in the comments if you have any problems or you have any creative solution to even go further than that. Please drop a like if you like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.